Hey, what's up friends? Welcome to our September 2015 video blog. Thank you guys so much for watching as this uh, is going to be the last video blog of New Zealand. We will be doing them again whenever we get home, but more on that later. <laughs> yeah, so we just finished the MCX this past Friday. It's been so cool to journey with each of the students as well as Noah and Kate and their daughter Sparrow. Um, in this season. Uh, we're super grateful for each of you guys and your love, support, encouragement throughout this time because we definitely couldn't have done it without you. We uh, look forward to keeping in touch with the students and still having friendships with them and just uh, continuing to um, be in one another's lives whether it's through the internet or whenever we get to catch up in person. So yeah, thanks for everything you guys. Mm -hmm. So obviously since the MCX is over, uh, we're actually going to be headed home here soon. Uh, we leave on September 12th uh, and we'll be flying back home through Kona, Hawaii, uh, which is where the international YWAM base is, the University of the Nations. Uh, so that's going to be really cool. We actually get to hang out there for a few weeks and touch base with some of the leadership of the tribe. which so The tribe is kind of like a sub-branch of YWAM that's trying some new things revolving around missional community lifestyle, missions, sort of things, uh, which is what the MCX was was kind of an expression of. So um, it's really cool. We're going to be able to uh, join those guys for a conference where people are going to be sharing like what the Lord is leading them in, uh, various different branches of the tribe, as well as we're going to be able to share about the school um, and just kind of build relationships there. Uh, this will be really important for Kate and Noah as they've been building relationships with those guys already. Uh, but we're really excited to be there along for that journey. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also getting the chance to hang out with Larissa's family who's coming out there to visit us for a little bit, which will be really awesome and just so refreshing and, and restful. Mm -hmm. So um, definitely, obviously excited for that. Uh, but then in October, early October, we get home, uh, which we are amped about because we love Colorado. <laughs> yeah, we definitely can't wait to be back home and to uh, just reconnect with everybody and uh, have time to hang out with everyone. So we're planning on doing a little get-together, gathering type thing at some point. Probably not in the first week. We don't have anything planned or solidified, but we will send out a Facebook invite to everybody once we finally discover when we will have this get-together. So we hope you can make it and we look forward to seeing everybody. Mm-hmm. Totes. Um, and then lastly, we just wanted to share with you guys kind of uh, some of the personal stuff that we've been like processing and everything like that. Uh, something the Lord's been teaching us a bit about is giving. Um, we feel very blessed to have had the opportunity to be a part of this missional community experience, and the Lord has provided so much for us, so much grace. Um, and uh, we're kind of in this season of, of figuring out how to bless others and, and to give uh, as much as we can. Uh, and on our way out and so uh, the Lord's been teaching us that but then also he just reminded it us with it again or whatever solidified it um, it in a in a book that we've been reading <clears throat> we've been reading this book uh, called transformed Caesar Kalinowski wrote it that dude uh, for the MCX and having the students like report back on it every single week and uh, that's kind of been part of our phase two and uh, one of his chapters about giving, and it just happened to fall on this past month when the Lord is already teaching us that. And so uh, there was just a really cool quote in here that I figured kind of summarized what I felt like we were learning. So I figured I'd share that with you guys. Cool. So uh, the quote says, God is looking for conduits of his grace and generosity. He is not looking for barrels to store these things in. Coveting our things and acting as if we are our own source of income, supply, money, time, and so on shows that our hearts are not at peace and ultimately trusting God for these things. We hang on to our stuff because we believe it is in short supply. Uh, that first part was really huge, just that we're not meant to be barrels where we receive and are, are just so blessed by God. Um, we're meant to be conduits uh, where, we, where we pass that along, where, yeah, the Lord is constantly giving us grace and, and loving on us, financially providing for us, whether that's through our work, uh, our tent making, our uh, supporters, uh, this is this is the Lord's grace and His His hand of provision as a as a good loving Father, um, but we're we're also meant to just be able to pass that along. And so the Lord's been stretching and teaching us new ways of getting to do that, um, and that's it's been a joy to get to be a part of to get to see uh, how the Lord loves to provide for others through us. Um, so that's fun. Yeah, totally. 
We also just want to thank you so much for those of you who've been praying for the tent makers. Mm -hmm. We had mentioned in our last vlog that we were going to be releasing uh, this next collection, and we have, and it's been so cool to put everything out there and just see the response from people on Instagram and social media and also the rad random opportunity of just seeing a kid last week down at, in Queenstown at the uh, base down there as we were having a national gathering rocking one of the shirts and we were like, wait, where did he get that? And mm -hmm. so it's cool to talk with him and just hear that he had ordered it back when he was in California, like a week or two before coming down to New Zealand to staff at the base. So, so encouraging and just really thankful for all of your guys' prayers over that. Yeah, thank you guys so much. And uh, we've also just joined Pinterest, if you didn't see that this month. Uh, so those of you who aren't on Instagram and are like, oh man, I don't get to follow like what they're doing or whatever, check us out on Pinterest. I'm going to drop a little linky-loo down in the deebly-doo. Uh, check that out. We'd love uh, to see you guys' boards and collaborate and kind of like see uh, what you guys are dreaming about because we like the fact that we get to share uh, above and beyond what we actually do with the tent makers, but just some of the things that we want to accomplish in the future, the inspiration that, that the Lord has been like giving us or whatever I don't know whatever all that fun jazz Pinterest pinning boards woo uh, anyways that it. oh it's yes it's his yes favorite. it is cool it is cool anyways <laughs> love you guys that's all we have for this month uh, so we will see you guys next month stateside cool peace ah!